In this video I wanted to go over a system that I use on a higher time frame on a five minute chart. Usually I have a few different time frames up of the instrument that I'm trading and this is one of the ways that I use the five minute chart. It's a very simple setup, just involves two of Ninza's indicators, the Supertrend Pro and the Intraday VWAP Pro. I've left all the settings the same. I think I just changed the bar outline, but other than that, it's all the same. I'm actually going to change the color of the Supertrend Pro line so it's easier to distinguish between that and the VWAP line. So now this blue line, this is our Supertrend Pro stop line, as well as this pink line over here. This main center line that changes from red to green depending on if we're in a bearish or a bullish trend. This is the VWAP and all these bands are standard deviations of the VWAP that we can use for support and resistance along the way. So here we are in the overnight session. We're coming into September 22nd on Thursday. Uh, if you trade the London session, you know right here around the London Open, this is a perfect spot to get in. Uh, we're right at VWAP. We're right at this super trend stop line. We're still bullish. Uh, you could get any. You could get in anywhere around here and put your stop just a little bit below or below this VWAP standard deviation line and target you know some of these upper bands here. Or you could also wait for a little bit more price confirmation when price actually breaks out above the VWAP. You see that trade went up very nicely. And then once we do finally close out of this shaded VWAP standard deviation area, it comes back down right to this next standard deviation line on the VWAP bands. So they're, they're really great tools for support and resistance. So here we get a super trend print bearish. Uh, we're kind of right in the middle of the VWAP lines. There's nothing really to go on. So in this instance, I'd want to wait for a pullback before I got short. And you can see we're right near this standard deviation line in the VWAP. And we come up right to the super trend stop line here. This is a great entry because your risk to reward is so nice. You can put your stop just a little bit above, maybe above these highs here or these highs, and then target VWAP again. You know, there's a nice 60 point move right there in 15 minutes. Here we're in pre market. You see, we get a super trend print bullish here, but we are right up against this VWAP standard deviation line. So I'd want to wait till it broke out above that line and probably above these last highs before I would look to get long. So we would be waiting for a pullback entry and it pulls right back to VWAP and to this super trend stop line. That would be a great place to get in for a low risk trade. Put your stop down below these lows and then target the next VWAP standard deviation line up here. And then we're coming into the market open. We get a super trend print bearish. We close down below VWAP. That's a nice bearish sign. Uh, you get in right there and put your stop above these last highs or you could wait for a pullback. It pulls back right into VWAP and then takes off down. You could target this first VWAP standard deviation line. And for the rest of the morning, our VWAP is staying bearish and our super trend is staying bearish. We get a nice bounce off of this VWAP standard deviation line down here, over 70 points. Here we get the super trend printing bullish, but we are right about to hit VWAP. I would not be looking to get into a longer term long with hardly any room to work with right there. So I'd be waiting for a pullback trade and it comes right back to our super trend stop line and bounces off and goes back almost up to VWAP. It goes to whole number 1600, you know, 50 points right there. And this happens day after day on the five minute. Uh, this is pre-market from yesterday, the 21st. We're already in a bullish uptrend on the five minute chart here. We're hovering right around VWAP. So this would be a great place to get in. You have your stop below the standard deviation line on the VWAP or down below the super trend line. 
If you wanted to wait for extra confirmation that this is going to continue up, you could wait for price to break out above one of these standard deviation lines on the VWAP and take it long there up to the next standard deviation line. And then this standard deviation line finally stops it. We get a bounce back, right back down. Now we've got the super trend line here, the super trend stop line and VWAP right there. So that's a great area to get in for another long bounce. So that was it. That was right at the market open. And then a couple hours later in the day, it comes right back down to the VWAP and the super trend stop line and another great area to get in for a long trade and you could be targeting any one of these VWAP bands. This is pre-market from the day before, September 20th. We're already in this bearish super trend, so we get a nice movement down. Then price starts kind of hovering up in this VWAP standard deviation cloud and we go up and test VWAP and it immediately starts breaking through and we get a super trend bullish signal and since we're right near the VWAP, that's a great place to get in. We could put our stops just right below this last low on this candle and target the next standard deviation line on the VWAP. There's another 50 points right there. Later on in the afternoon, we get a super trend bearish print and we are below the VWAP. Be a great place to get in right there, honestly, or you could wait for a little bit of pullback up near the VWAP, target this standard deviation line on the VWAP or this next standard deviation line on the VWAP. You can see we get a bounce there. Prices, price bounces off of this standard deviation line. Here's the day before, September 19th. Here we get a bullish super trend print and we kind of hover around VWAP for a while. If we wait for a pullback entry, there's a great place to get on a pullback right at the standard, standard deviation line on the VWAP. And we're close to the super trend stop line here, this blue line. Great place to get in there, ride it up to VWAP again. And then once it breaks above with a strong candle, we are definitely looking for longs at that point. Our VWAP's turn green. We're in an uptrend on the VWAP now too. We could wait for a pullback near the VWAP and take it up to this next standard deviation line or this second standard deviation line. Here later on around lunchtime, not usually when I trade, but if you're trading over the lunch hour, we get a super trend print bearish, but we're coming right up to VWAP. It does break through, could be a potential entry there. This is not a time that I would normally trade, but it did drop down to that next standard deviation line. And then later in the afternoon, we get a bearish super trend. Uh, it pulls back right to VWAP, and we're right next to the super trend stop line. Great place to get in there. You can target any of these VWAP bands. So you can see this just happens day after day. It's a very easy system to trade. Just two indicators. Very consistent and reliable, especially if you wait for the pullback entries that are near VWAP or the super trend stop lines. Now it looks very similar on the ES chart, the ES five minute chart. This is from this morning as well, September 22nd. We get a nice pullback right to VWAP and the super trend stop line. That would be a great place to enter and target this first standard deviation line. And then coming into the market open, we break VWAP. We get a super trend bearish print. We get a pullback to VWAP and could target this next standard deviation line. Later on in the afternoon, we get a bearish super trend kind of hovers right around VWAP, gives us a nice pullback entry here. This is right near the standard deviation line on the VWAP as well as the super trend stop line. We could take a low risk trade right there, ride it back up to the VWAP. And you could use this system on many other time frames and many other instruments as well.